What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to share with you two free tools to help you with your niche and keyword research. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now like I said in this video I'm going to share with you two free tools to help you with your low and no content book research. So what are these tools? Well if you watched our previous video it was all about self-publishing titans and that's what this video is all about. What I'm going to do is show you a few examples on how to use these tools and how not to use these tools. Now if you want to come here and check them out you can get here by going to selfpublishingtitans.com. I will link a down, no, I will link down in the description below so you can go through and have a look. Now, if we scroll all the way down on the first page, these are the two tools that you want. Best free KDP research tools, this is this one, niche data keyword research tool, and BSR, and then you want this one, Amazon Keyword Suggestion Expander. Now, I'm not going to go into installing the Chrome extensions in this video because it's pretty simple. What we're going to do is use these tools so you can see how to actually use them and what to actually look for when using these tools. Now a quick side note, our Black Friday sale has over 24 hours left. It will be ending tomorrow the 30th of November at 9pm GMT. If this is something that you're interested in then go ahead click that link down in the description below. Now over to Amazon. Once that you have these two tools installed, bit of a tongue twister that one, once you have these two tools installed, they should show up here in your Chrome extension bar. I have the BSR tool just here, or the keyword research tool, and then I have the other one just here, the Ultimate Amazon Search Suggestion Expander. Now these two tools go hand in hand and they help you do your research and come to better conclusions when finding niches to actually create your books around. Now one thing I do want to note really quick that these two tools are just that, they're tools. Tools to help you do better research. Now you might use these two tools, find a really great niche and go ahead and publish that book and still not make any sales. The tools do not help you make sales, they just help you make better decisions when doing research. Now what I've gone ahead and done is actually pulled up a couple of examples. We're going to run through them and then I'm going to show you what to look for and what not to look for. Now the first Chrome extension that I want to talk about is this one, the Ultimate Amazon Search Suggestion Expander. Now what this tool does, if we just go onto the search bar just here, this is going to pull up all words or all keywords related to your first keyword. So I've put in colouring books. Now if we do this, we're going to do, hold on, there we go. So this Chrome extension is pulling up all of the keywords related to my main keyword just up here. Now why is that important? Well, this helps you dive deeper into a niche. So right off the bat, I've put colouring books. Now colouring books is way too broad. It's going to be extremely hard to try and rank for this because if we look just here, let's go back for a second. Let's go back to here and take a look just there. There's 88,000 results for colouring books. So it's really important to niche down. Now I'm going to go over all of this data in a second, but I just want to go back over this because this tool alone is very, very important when trying to find extra keywords. Because again, it's going to pull up all related keywords to your main keyword, and this is going to help you dive deeper. So for colouring books, we can see, if we scroll down, there's lots of related keywords. Now, with these related keywords, you can use the second Chrome extension to find out if it's profitable. Now, again, 
like I said, these tools are just that. They're there to help you find niches and keywords. But at the same time, it's always better if you have a niche to start from. Now, finding niches is relatively easy. We can use Creative Fabrica. All I did for this was had a look on KDP Interiors, started looking around. I noticed that Planner was quite prominent here. So we can see Planner here. We can see planner here. I see business planner. So what I went ahead and done was just typed in business planner. Now give that a second to load up. There we go. All I did was type in business planner. Just give that a second. So if we take away the four entrepreneurs and just put business planner, we're going to see all of the related keywords that have popped up. As we can see, there's lots of great keywords that we can go through and check with the other Chrome extension. Right here, in the primary Amazon suggestions, all I typed in was business planner, but then business planner for entrepreneurs popped up. So I'll just type that back in. I spelt that wrong. There we go. So all I typed in was business planner for entrepreneur. And with this Chrome extension, the SPT's niche keyword score, we can see if this is going to be a good niche or not. So let's go over some of these stats and let me show you what to look for and what not to look for. So here's all the stats that we get from this Chrome extension. Again, this is just going to get you making better decisions. With this business planner for entrepreneurs, we can see they've given us a niche score of 47. Now to put it into perspective, anything in between 50 and 60 is good. Anything above 60 is even better. Now yesterday when I was doing a little bit of research, this business planner for entrepreneurs, the score was a little bit higher. So please keep in mind as well that Amazon's always changing. There's new books coming onto the platform. The BSRs are always changing. Books are always getting purchased. So even though this is 47 today, it might not be 47 tomorrow. Yesterday, this did have a score of over 50. So with me personally, even if it's above 45, it could still be a relatively good niche. Now, how do we know if it's a good niche? Well, from the score and from the data that we get. So right off the bat, we can see total results for Business Planner for Entrepreneurs is 300. Now, anything under 1,000 is really good, but my range is anything from 5,000 and below, because most of the time, if you find a niche with around 5,000 results, most of those 5,000 results aren't even related to your main keyword. But looking at this, there's 300 results, looks good. Remember, ideally, anything under 1,000 is going to be good. Then on the first page, there's 60 results. Six of these are independent, independently published. Now that's one thing that you want to look out for. If you're doing your niche research and using this tool, you want to make sure that there are a few independently published books on the first page. That way you know that if you were to publish a book, there's a good chance that you could get on that first page. Now the average BSR is around 183,000. Me personally, I look under anything or I look for anything under 500,000. Main reason being with a rough average BSR of under 500,000, you can still expect to make quite a few sales here and there every single month. But ideally, anything under 500,000 is going to be good, but then ideally anything under 100,000 is going to be even better. So the average BSR looks really good. The highest BSR is not actually even that high with 3 million, which is fairly good. And then the number of reviews. So there's over 2000 average reviews, which is around about where I draw the line. Anything under 2000 reviews is really good. Now, if we scroll through the first page, there's a few things that I want to look for. Again, we know that there's six independently published for Business Planner for Entrepreneurs, but I also want to see that when was that book last published. If there's books on the first page, which was published in 2021, so there's that means there's a good chance I could actually rank one of my books on page one. So let's take a look through this. Some of these aren't independently published. Remember, there's only six. But if we take a look through here, we can see 
when these books were published. So let's scroll down even more. Let's take a look here. So this one, this is Create an Intensive Biz Playbook and Planner. So this was independently published in 2018, so quite a while ago. So let's keep looking. If we scroll down to here, we can see another independently book published just here. Doesn't really look that great, but it's making sales. It has a rank of 2. 0.9 million, so it's probably making a few sales here and there every month. But look at this, this was published only in September and it's already ranking on page one. And if we look here, the reviews aren't very good. So what I would do is go through to this, take a look at the reviews to see what people are saying about this, to see if I can use that feedback to make a better book if I decide to publish in this niche. But right off the bat, seeing this book, which has been published in September and is on the first page for, if we scroll up, Business Planner for Entrepreneurs. And if we scroll back down to round about here, we can see they are targeting, targeting that as well, Business Planner for Entrepreneurs. So with that being said, Let's just keep scrolling, actually. With that being said, this looks like a fairly good niche. Now look, here's another. This was published in 2020. Doesn't really look that great at all. Here's another business planner. Look at that. That was published in October, October 2021. And again, this is on the first page. So right off the bat, this is telling me that this could be a fairly good niche. Why is it a good niche? Number of, number of results are really low. That average BSR looks really good. That average reviews are just over 2,000. I like to be just under 2,000. And there's six independently books published on the first page. And a couple of them was published only in the last few months. So again, this looks like a fairly good niche. Now, what does a bad niche look like? So again, let's go back to this coloring book example. Let's just take away that. Let's do this. Let's go back down to onto here. There we go. This looks like a terrible niche. Now, why is that? Number of results, far too many, 88 thousand so there's no way that you're going to get on the first page just for coloring book again this is why it's important to niche down but we can see that niche score is only 14 there's 30 independently published that bestsellers rank is a little bit high ideally actually no that bestsellers rank looks okay but look at these average reviews there's way too many so color and book is going to be way too broad and you're going to find it extremely hard to make sales if you don't niche down now i've got another example so let's just go over to here and bam there we go so this is what i've pulled up monster truck coloring book now how did i find this niche well it was just over on creative fabrica all I did was come over to here, went to graphics, went to coloring books for kids, and then I scrolled down, taking a look at the niches, plugging them over into Amazon to see if I could find any profitable niches. Now, if we scroll down to here, we have dinosaur, we have space, we have princess, and this is where I found it, monster truck coloring book. So again, all I did was come over, typed monster truck coloring book into Amazon and then this is what the SPT Chrome extension has given us. So right off the bat this looks like a good niche with a score of 52. Remember anything above 50 is really good. Anything in between 60, no, anything in between 50 and 60 is good. Anything above 60 is even better. Off the bat we can see there's only 752 results. 35 independently published. The average BSR looks okay with 220,000. And those average reviews, look at that, really, really low. So if we scroll down to here, we can now take a look at these independently published books to see when they were published. So right off the bat, let's go past the sponsored. We can see this one, September 2020, July 16th, 2021. And look at that. It already has a best sellers badge. We can see 29 reviews with a rank of 11,000. Let's take a look at some more. This was published in 2015. March 19th, 2021. Monster Jam Coloring Book. 
15 reviews, look at that average BSR, or that normal BSR of 34,000. Let's take a look at some more independently published. Again, October 2021. If we take a look at some more, we can see 2020, 2020, January 2021. So there's quite a few on the first page which have been published this year, and they have reviews, and their BSRs are really good. So again, this one looks like a good niche because there's low results. There's independently published books on the first page, which were published this year as well, which tells me if I were to create a good quality book, there's a good chance that I could get it ranked on the first page for Monster Truck Coloring Book. Now, one thing I do want to note really quick as well is that when you're finding niches and you're plugging them into here, and if the niche doesn't look good, that's where the other Chrome extension comes into play. Because now, if we click on here, do a little bit of that and a little bit of this to pull up all of the related keywords, we can see there's a lot more keywords for Monster Truck Coloring Book. So if this niche didn't look very good with the SPT's Chrome extension, there's lots of different keywords that I could go through just here to check that SPT score because the first keyword that you target might not always be possible uh, be profitable but the more you niche down start researching and look at that all related keywords chances are you're going to come across some of these that look really good so monster truck coloring book let's say this didn't look very good but then i checked out monster truck coloring book for kids ages four to eight this one might look a lot better over this one so that's again where this Chrome extension comes into play. And that's how simple it can be to actually use these tools. Remember, they're also completely free, and if you want to go and check them out, you can get there by going to selfpublishingtitans.com. Now, let's just have a quick recap on what to look for. Ideally, you want the score above 50. If it's a little bit below, it can still be a fairly good niche. You just have to dig a little deeper to have a little look. So ideally, you want that niche score above 50. Your total results, with me personally, I go for anything under 5,000 because the majority of the time, most of those 5,000 books aren't even going to be related to that main keyword. But ideally, anything under 1,000 is going to be even better. So with results of 300, that looks really good good. So I'm looking for niche score above 50. Total results under 5,000. I want independently published books on the first page because that tells me that I can also publish books and hopefully get on the first page. And then I also want your average BSR under 500,000. And ideally, I want those reviews under 2,000. So that's what to look for. That's how to use these two tools. Go ahead, give them a go. Remember, just because you find a prof keyword doesn't guarantee sales. The main factors that come into play are your cover, your title, your subtitle, and your keywords. If that's all on point when you find a profitable niche, then you are going to make sales. And remember that these two tools are a lot easier to use if you already have niches in mind. Niches are everywhere, it's not hard to find them. In fact, what I'll do is link a playlist or a video or something along those lines on niche research right there in the right hand corner so you can go through and watch. But give these two tools a go, they're really simple to use and you can find some really great niches. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.